Welcome to Doorstar. I am Sheru and this is Avatar Museum 5. Today we are going to pick out three avatars and show them off to you. So let's go! This is my number three pick. The reason why I picked this one is because I know that the creator of this, Blastor, is actually working on a project to make more armor outfits like these for other avatars. I can't say which one, so yeah, too bad. But this is uh, Shetty. The avatar's cute, but I really like the armor on this one. I'm actually considering buying it to put it on other avatars. So there we have it, number three. What I like about this avatar is like also this cute look with the kimono and like with this ghost around it. Also the like face expressions that you can make with it. That's why I like it as a number three. The avatar is called Lush. And this is my, like my third pick if the other two wouldn't work. First of all, the like cat girl. Yeah, I like cat girls. And also the outfit here, you can see there are many details as the belt. Also like this kind of small jacket and the bell here. You could make good dynamic bones of it. The hair is also really detailed <laughs> and the ears are also <laughs> really cute. But well, this is my third pick. This is my number two pick, Mazuku no Meiro san this uh, character reminded me of uh, Amai Goddess, and that's why I tried it on. And then I realized the dress is actually really nice. Look. I was really impressed with how well this was done. This is my number two pick. So I'm a person that le really like looks before I like pick an avatar for my favorite, I really look if there's good like expressions that you can do with your controllers. And I also like the look of this avatar. It fits perfectly with like the cat ears and the tail. That's why I like pick this as a number two for me. She is called Sayo. She has like a really minimalistic design. So it's like only the summer school outfit with some of the, like the, the black lines, kind of details. And also the red band right here fits really in the outfit too. It's also a cat girl. So that's the most thing I like at this avatar. Her hair is like also really qualitative high. Also got tails here. At the back's also one tail. Ah, it looks so cute, damn. I'm a bit weird, so. This is my second choice. This is my number one pick. This is Chan. Look at it. This avatar is amazing. The details are great. And uh, yeah, why they call her USA Chan? I have no idea why they call her USA Chan. What I really love about this avatar is like this mysterious like uh, look, like with the darker clothing and also this like lantern that is, like, you can move it and also this like particles like when you move it and it's like small stars coming out of it and it's really fun to like play with it. That's why I picked this one for like my number one pick of these avatars here. Definitely favorite avatar in this world. As you can see, like, it's a vampire, first of all. So I like these kind of vampire avatars and also like this little teeth here in the mouth. Oh my god, I love it. And also her outfit is having dynamic bones. So it looks really realistic, her skirt. Ah, I love it. And also her is like really detailed. The tails are also really high quality. So that's basically my favorite avatar because of these reasons. So, this was Avatar Museum 5. I hope you enjoyed it. As much as we Dutch and German VR tech users did, on behalf of Doorstar, we would like to thank all the creators of these wonderful avatars, and specifically um, Okami Chan, the creator of the Avatar Museum. That's it. Until next time, I would like to remind everyone to please subscribe and press the like button and the bell buttons and all those little thingies, and then see you until next time. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video!